Hello and welcome back to another Meals of the Week video where I'm going to be taking you through some of the things we typically eat as a family of five over the course of around a week. I've got three hungry boys to feed and I need filling meals that don't cost the earth but that they're actually going to eat. So these are all family friendly, they're all really easy to do and they're all quite easy on the budget as well. We also went away for the bank holiday weekend with my mum and my husband's mum and I've popped in a few of those meals as well just to show you what we eat when there's a few more of us. So hopefully you enjoy this video and let's go and have a look at what we've been eating. Just preparing tonight's dinner, I'm making some Greek gyros. So I've got my chicken thighs here and I've just put together the marinade which I will leave linked down below. It's just a BBC good food recipe but basically it's oregano coriander, cumin, cayenne pepper, paprika, cinnamon, lemon juice. There's garlic in there, salt, black pepper, and there's also some fresh thyme from the garden. So that's all mixed together with some Greek yogurt. And now what I'm gonna do is open up these chicken thighs and marinate them in here for the next four hours, I guess. You can leave it overnight, but I've only got four hours, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna make homemade flatbreads. I'm gonna to top them with salad and fries, like homemade fries. And then I'm going to make some tzatziki as well to go on the top. So I'm just going to get these marinating. But I will, like I said, I will leave it linked down below if you want to try it. And I'm probably going to cook these maybe in the air fryer. I might put them on skewers and put them in the air fryer, but we'll see. So there's my chicken in the marinade. And the website said to put 12 chicken breasts in for this amount of marinade. But I've put a few extra. I think there may have been 16. I basically used two packs because I had enough space in the bowl and enough marinade and I always say if you're going to prep something that takes a little while and a little bit of weighing out a little bit of measuring you might as well do extra because leftovers of this kind of thing will always go down well the next day in wraps or sandwiches or you can just pop it in the freezer and bring it out another night when you can't be bothered to cook so I'm going to put a lid over this and I'm going to try and fit it in my fridge pop this in and then I will show you the next step later on So after double skewering my chicken, I realized it wasn't gonna fit in my air fryer. So I cooked it in the oven. So I did it on about 220 degrees for 55 minutes. And I turned it frequently, probably like every 10, 15 minutes I turned them over, which was a bit of a faff, but I think it helped it crisp up on all sides. This was an amazing meal. We absolutely loved it. But yeah, once it's cooled down, you have to get to slicing, which you're gonna need a really sharp knife and something to hold the skewers. So like a wooden board or something so that they don't roll around all over the place. our Greek chicken gyros before I've attempted to wrap it up. So we've got homemade flatbreads using the 50 and 50 Greek yogurt and self-raising flour method. We've got some homemade oven crispy chips. We've got some lettuce, some red onion, our chicken in the Greek marinade mixture. I made some homemade tzatziki which is yogurt, cucumber, de-seeded and grated and then you sprinkle some salt on it and squeeze it so the water comes out. Add it to the Greek yogurt and then I put some garlic powder and some mint sauce in there and some fresh red chilies on top. And if we had feta, I would sprinkle feta over this, but we haven't got any. I highly recommend making these. Give them a go. They're a little bit of prep, but 100% worth it and so much nicer than a takeaway. So for dinner tonight, I'm having a bit of a use up dinner. So the boys are having this and we're also having some burgers, but I think we're going to transform our burgers into a salad. So this one has got 
a lamb burger in here with some lettuce, a cheese slice and some ketchup. And then in there is a cheese and ham chicken Kiev. And then we've got some of these fries, which we've got from Iceland. They're fully loaded chicken kebab fries. I don't really recommend them to anyone because they come in this plastic tub. They don't cook in there very well. I've had to put these on an oven tray, then put them in a little bowl. Um, and I think they're not actually that nice tasting either. We got them reduced a while ago and I thought I'd use them up. I'm sure they look better now they're in the dish than before. So we've got one boy having this one. One of them is having this and he's got um, a lamb burger in there and then in this one there's another chicken Kiev but it's a garlic and herb one because he doesn't like cheese sauce. So he's got a garlic and herb chicken Kiev and then in here we've just air fried some potatoes just plain sliced up with some spicy seasoning and then put some grated cheese on and melted it because he doesn't like cheese sauce like I said so he doesn't want anything that's got cheese sauce on like this would have and I really don't mind doing different things if that's what they want that's what they can have. And then last but not least, we've got our youngest is having just a lamb burger in there and these fully loaded nacho crunchies, which basically have just turned into mashed potato with cheese. And I took the chilies out because he's not a big chili fan um, and I didn't add the salsa. So it's basically like nacho crunchies without the nacho. Um, and like I said, we're going to turn ours in some kind of salad concoction, which I will show you, but just using stuff up and trying to fill the ever ever increasing void of teenagers and I did say that we would probably have ours a little bit differently so we've still got some of the crispy roast potatoes or air fried potatoes we literally just slice these spray them with oil put some seasoning on we've got some um, Nando's peri peri salt and some I think it's garlic and chili seasoning from Aldi and then we put them in the air fryer for about 30 minutes we've got our lamb burgers with some blue cheese that needs using up some olives and some lettuce and then we've also got some of the barbecue sauce from Aldi and this is what we're having tonight. So I knew we would have leftovers from our Greek night and luckily we did, we had loads of chicken left so all I did was chopped up a couple of peppers, some onions and some fresh red chilli and I popped it in with the chicken in a pan. I also added the capsicana tomato and chilli seasoning mix just to give it a little bit more flavour and then we just served this in wraps and I did a big salad with it so some people had it in wraps with salad and some people just had it on salad but yeah that chicken that I used went a really really long way and did two really nice meals and we still had a little bit of this mixture left over which my husband took to work for lunch the next day as well. So we have more leftovers for our next meal. I had two frozen chicken legs, like cooked roasted chicken legs in the freezer for some reason. So I got those out and defrosted them and I cooked off a load of veggies. So broccoli, peppers, I did some munch too, some mushrooms, some onions, and I seasoned it all with some Chinese five spice and some soy sauce. And then to this, I just added a few packets of instant noodles and the seasoning sachet, added enough water to cook. And that was basically it. I served the mushrooms and the corn on top with some fresh coriander. We had crispy onions and fresh chilies. Really quick and simple, but such a tasty meal. So the next couple of meals are from when we went away with the boys and both of our mums. We organised a little trip over Easter for their Christmas present. And because my mum's a vegetarian, I made some corn enchiladas. So I got the old El Paso enchilada kits and I used corn instead of chicken and then we just cooked some wedges with that. It was really, really nice. It was lovely that we were all able to eat together. We also had a big salad to serve with this. And then you get a rare shot of my eldest son here cooking flatbreads on the barbecue outside. Um, it was chaos trying to make flatbreads in a kitchen that wasn't our own and Steve actually used a wine bottle to roll them out. And Bailey was in charge of the grill so he dropped a few between the grill lines and he also burnt a couple but he did really well so rare shot of the teenager there. I did some coconut and chilli chicken which I started in the oven and finished off on the barbecue because if you've got one right outside the door you might as well use it. And we just had salad and wedges, homemade flatbreads and some nachos. I put some grated cheese and some roasted vegetables and it was just really, really nice to all be together and be able to all eat at the same time and just spend some time together. So for the boys' dinner tonight, I have made them, well I haven't really made it, I've cheated. I've got some chicken dippers, I've got some roast potatoes, these are actually just from Lidl, some frozen ones, but they've taken about 45 minutes in the air fryer um, and then I've got some southern fried gravy this one and someone's at the door so this is what I've made up in here and they can dip the chicken dippers and the roast potatoes in there and this is what the boys are having tonight 
So I'm just starting tonight's dinner and in here I've got some onion and garlic which I've fried off. Then I've added some smoked bacon that I had in the fridge that needed using up and some pork mince and then to that I've added about three tablespoons of tomato puree and some smoked paprika. And what I'm going to do now is pop some of this orzo in. I'm guessing really. Uh, yeah, about that much. And I'm going to coat that in like the sort of sauce that I've made up. And then I've made up some chicken stock. I'm just eyeballing it by the way. I don't really know um, how much I need to use. I'm kind of a little bit like how you do a risotto, but completely different. Um, I'm going to coat all that, just let that start to seep in. And I'm also going to add some garden peas or fro yeah, frozen peas. And I'm going to pop the stock on and this will cook my pasta. Hopefully that's not too much. Like I said, I'm just making it up as I go. So I'm going to throw in some garden peas and then I'm probably just going to let that bubble gently for the next seven to nine minutes and hopefully that will absorb all of the water and we'll be left with like a nice smoked bacon and a pork also. So here we are finished. I'm just about to serve it up but I've had a little taste and it tastes really good. The orzo is so nice because it's like a cross between, I suppose pasta and rice, it is just pasta but it's like a nice sort of size and shape if that makes sense. So I'm going to pop it in some plates. I've just air fried some sourdough baguette um, and a couple of garlic slices that I had left. So we're going to share those out and this is what we've got. So here it is served up. I've just put a tiny bit of grated extra mature cheddar on top. Parmesan would also go really nicely. So this is smoked bacon, pork and pea orzo with a smoky paprika sauce and some sourdough. Just made it up as I went along, but it looks really good. And there's loads and loads left as well, which is good. So for tonight's dinner, we have got some rice, just plain boiled rice, with some chicken Kerala coconut curry. I got these like two step sauces from Aldi the other week, and they've got like the spices on the top and then the sauce that you add to it. We've added extra red chili, some onions, and obviously some chicken, and the dishwasher's <laughs> going for it. <laughs> Um, and this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too.